Lillian Schwartz first encountered computer art at a 1968 exhibit at the Museum of Modern Art. The exhibit featured both the long history of artists engaging with technology and machines and new artists making technology into a fresh medium for art. The exhibit featured a multimedia, interactive sculpture by her. And that's where I met Leon Harmon, who came to the opening. And he was from Bell Laboratories and worked in visual perception. And he was very interested in my work. And I had done all kinds of graphics. And I couldn't understand how this nude that was made up of symbols was made. And he said, would you like to try the program? This code exists. We're not going to do anything with it. Uh, would you like to come to Bell Labs and try it? Within two days, I went because this was something very exciting to me. At Bell Labs, computer researchers were using their powerful IBM 7094 mainframe to create 2D art and computer animations, generating digital images captured on the mainframe's SC4020 microfilm recorder. Visual artists and musicians were visiting Bell Labs, taking advantage of work in computer graphics, computer animation, and especially in a group led by Max Matthews, computer-generated music. Max Matthews heard about me. I was being hidden, but because he was inventing computer music uh, and he wanted to have films to put his music to. It must have been months later that the computer scientist who worked with Leon Knowlton came into the room and chatted. I was complaining and saying, I wish I had more software here. And, uh, and then I heard this voice behind me saying, well, what would you want? And then we spent hours where I was telling him all the things I would like. And he would come back, he was writing things on the blackboard and say, well, I can do this, but I can't do that. And uh, I soon had a very simple software, but I could do animation. I could overlap and make rectangles. And so the early films had a lot of that, and I only got very little footage out of it, but I ended up doing some hand animation. But I also added all kinds of other materials to, to extend the film and to make, you know, use a more liquid look to it at times. And that's why the films have so many other images. Lillian Schwartz's needs as an artist pushed Ken Knowlton and others to develop their technologies, producing fresh computer animations that she transformed into a series of art films in the 1970s. Her films were shown widely at important museums to great acclaim, expanding the aesthetic space for computer films. 